Hey, Alyssa. Hey, oh. That would have been really annoying. <laughs> hey, Sam. <laughs> I had gum in my mouth, sorry. Are you ready now? I'm ready now, yeah. I'm not going to chew in your ear the whole time. Hey, Matt. Are you saving that gum for later? <laughs> I, th- no, no questions at this time, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so um, we didn't do this at my wedding, but I wanted to originally because when I was a little kid, I went to, um, I think it was one of my cousin's weddings, and I saw them do the shoe game, it's called. And so the bride and groom sit back to back and they have one of their shoes and one of their partner's shoes in the other hand. And then someone will ask them questions and they have to hold up <laughs> deeply sighing into the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My little... Um, so somebody will ask them questions and then they'll either hold up their shoe to answer like that they're the messier one or whatever kind of thing or their partner's shoe that's what we're gonna do here today because they didn't get to do it at my wedding yeah but for those of you just listening it's it's not sam and matt doing it it's sam and i doing the yeah. newlyweds game yeah <laughs> but matt's gonna be a- asking the questions and he's like elusively off camera and we're not going to have shoes obviously because that doesn't work for the audio version yeah um but i think it's fun if we put up our hands and say at the same time i don't know i kind of want like an action with it so you either point at yourself or point at you? Or just you just put up your hand? So like, yeah. So I would point at you or I would put up my hand. Okay. But aren't and we'll you guys, also say Sam you're not supposed to see yeah. each other, the whole point of it. You're supposed to go We're back We're going to have to change some things around. Yeah, because I want to be able to like debate. Like what yeah. if we both say ourselves? Then I want to be able to like debate. We need to like flush this out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who made the first move? Oh, we're getting right into it. No, I said skip those ones. Well, no, 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 no. I agree with that one, though. You agree? Yeah. Okay. Let me think. So, Mr. McParland. No, you made the first move because I would have been too shy, I think. That, wow, doesn't strike me at all as being (laughs) accurate. (laughs) Who do you think made the first move? We got paired up. So, there was no first move. But who do you think said hi first yeah (laughs) i feel like it was probably you maybe it was or maybe it was me well now i just don't know okay yeah maybe we'll skip that one (laughs) i don't know are you not excited because you don't have facetime you can come sit over here i'm still not participating i'm just the alex trebek of this game yeah but you can like you can argue on your wife's behalf also we'll see or against your wife's behalf yeah maybe don't do that um um, um, who's more romantic is that Alyssa? I, yeah, I would say I'm more romantic. I'm yeah. like, even with Sam, like I tr- used to try <laughs> to like hold her hand and stuff like that. And Sam was like, <sighs> I'm way cuddlier. Yeah, I would say Alyssa. Yeah, I would agree. I get like a, you. <laughs> I get like a one arm hug. <laughs> but sometimes, I love you. sometimes I get the two arm hug. Who plans more elaborate date nights? <laughs> Sam and I just staring at each other. How much other planning intensely. going on in their Matt? Lives. <laughs> I would say Matt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and even like I've been on like I guess date nights that Matt has planned because it's like a family <laughs> thing, but Matt planned it. That's how elaborate they get. They involve yeah. the whole neighborhood. <laughs> the whole family, yeah. Matt gets one. Sweet. Outside source. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to call a friend. <laughs> yeah. Um, who wears the pants in the relationship? Oh, Sam's pointing at me? Me? I'm pointing at Sam? I feel like it's even. I feel like we each have a leg. It's like a three-legged race when we're wearing three-legged <laughs> pants. <laughs> Sisterhood of the traveling pants. Yeah. This is what I would say. It's, I think, well, yeah, you're right. Because I would say that you wear the pants like, um, like, but not, well, there's just different like business styles. But I would say like you have the ideas, but then I would wear the pants when it comes to like, confrontation or like talking mm. to like business professionals like i'm killing the one spiders killing yeah killing spiders you don't kill spiders I yes do. she does on my behalf she won't do it for herself no why do you keep calling me to do it then well if you're available <laughs> i mean jesus christ <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if sam is in need i've got your wife's back okay <laughs> she's fearless stone-faced <laughs> <laughs> one time when you weren't here i literally searched your upstairs for a spider that she had seen and couldn't find it there and was and then it came back later there was a big one i'll give you that one the other night 
above yeah, Matt, the door. It was like dark out, and so he only saw the shadow of it. And he was like, the shadow's just making it look bigger. And then he had to hit it three times to kill it because it was so huge. With my sandal. But yeah, the shadow, I didn't want to show my fear. <laughs> <laughs> but when she, because she had the light, so the, the, the spider was behind the shadow. And I thought that was the real spider, and it was huge. But yeah, it actually was bigger than I thought, too. Who do you think wears the pants? Just as an aside, it's not really an aside. That was an aside. Who do you think wears the pants in our relationship, Matt? Um, you. I agree. Who's the better driver? Oh. I, uh, I excuse don't, me? No. Okay, here's the only thing, though. Alyssa's putting up her hand for herself, but here's the only thing. You're so fearful sometimes that I think that that could end up resulting in... Okay, I'm not- I would I would say that I started being a very bad driver, yes. Uh, I heard you drive super slow. I don't drive slow. I'm I don't drive slow. Okay, I drive the speed limit. You go slow. But I'm slow in some people's ideas because they're like maniacs and just like zip into traffic whenever they feel like it. The speed but- limit is slow. Okay, well, it's there for a reason, number one. But no one goes it. I haven't had a ticket in eight years. Doesn't so. matter. <laughs> Irrelevant. Yeah, exactly. Uh, driving slow and not having a ticket. Yeah, okay, you obviously drive slow then if you haven't had a ticket. Yeah, which is like per the law. So she's and a law-abiding citizen. Yeah, and I drive in the right lane, okay? Like, I'm okay, not well, that's good. Down, then I'm you not, get a point for that. Yeah, I'm not slowing down traffic. This is what I will say is like I'm, <laughs> I'm cautious to merge with traffic if there's not a big enough gap mind the gap (laughs) i need a gap and and same with left hand turns okay advanced greens no i fucked that shit up i am like boom right there on the green arrow but i don't think that i'm like dangerously cautious where i'm going to cause an accident i think that i just wait for a really nice gap okay yeah really nice gap yeah to keep everybody in my car safe because there there is often times where it's like more than a generous enough amount of a gap and i've heard you say almost every single time we drive in your car you're like oh my god a car yeah that's true <laughs> but i'll give you that one yeah okay Alyssa's is better and driver. i'm 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 getting better with my gap length <laughs> like yesterday you would have been proud of me i was like less <laughs> less than a kilometer between you and the, okay, <laughs> and the approaching car <laughs> even my tesla when you put it on auto drive it automatically adds 10 kilometers to the speed limit so you go automatically 10 kilometers over okay i go like seven kilometers over i'd say <laughs> <laughs> my dad always said that 10 kilometers over the speed limit is your god-given right yeah okay i was gonna bring that up i respect don <laughs> i respect that no you know what i used to speed i used to be like way more of a I would say like reckless driver. Well, yes. Um, But I just am a different woman these days. Yeah. And I I just respect the law and all of its. I forgot to switch the laundry over. Sorry. I I respect you for respecting the law. Thank you. I actually am doing laundry also right now. It's laundry day. And I'll give you some credit. You've gotten a lot better at driving. (laughs) Who's more likely to talk their way out of a speeding ticket? Well, I just wouldn't need to. (laughs) (laughs) as we preface i don't think either of us would though no i don't think so but um when i used to get i used to get a lot of tickets and when i used to i would talk my way out of them in court (laughs) yeah so i would say not at the time there's honestly i don't feel like there's really any way to talk yourself out of a speeding ticket once they've decided they're giving you one they basically have like already decided by the time they approach you if you're if they're going to give you a warning or not. Yeah. Um, but I did dispute my tickets and I would always, we would always come to an understanding, me and the police officer. The only reason that I would um, try to talk my way out of a speeding ticket is if I was, or like a ticket in general, is if I genuinely felt like I wasn't doing anything. Mm-hmm. But if I was actually speeding, I wouldn't try to talk myself out of it because I, I'd be yeah. like, yeah, I was speeding. So. Mm-hmm. Them's the brakes. Yeah. I did, I did haggle a lot in court. So Alyssa in court. Yeah. Aren't we supposed to be raising hands or something? Yeah, but I, then we like... She gave it up. I gave it up. I guess people can tell who's talking anyways. Sometimes. Some people can't. <laughs> yeah. What? They yeah. think that we have like the same voice. But we talk like very similar similarly because we hang out so much. Your vocabulary is similar, but the yeah. way you enunciate is different. Yeah. Who's better when it comes to directions? I feel like I know that you're remembering that one time that I got mad at you for <laughs> I am explicitly remembering that one time. <laughs> Sam was supposed to be... It was like seven years ago, but I haven't let it go. <laughs> Sam was supposed to be directing me. We were in Vancouver and she was supposed to be directing me, but she kept like going away from the 
the like map and texting on her phone yeah and then we kept missing exits and turns and she's like oh sorry 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 you were supposed to take that exit but it's okay and then i was like getting frustrated and i was like ah. i can't remember what i said but obviously <laughs> it was, was her you said that <laughs> <laughs> um i i mean i feel like both of us just use gps yeah i'm pretty I will say I'm pretty bad with giving like directions in any case. Like my dad always used to get so mad at me. He'd be like, say it's like the third drawer from the top. Whereas I'm like, okay, go into the kitchen, turn to your right. Do you know where the coffee maker is? Okay, so under the coffee maker. And my dad's like, just say third drawer from the right. (laughs) So I'm pretty bad at like explaining kitchen directions. Yeah. (laughs) I think all the answers have been so obscure. I I think if you call it directions, like you just brought up, saying like um, instructions Mm -hmm. then i think you're pretty good at it but i haven't really experienced you giving me poor i think that i think that especially downtown vancouver i'm pretty good with where we are downtown but i'm talking about instructions is like if i call you and i say where's the toothpaste Mm. that's the instructions i'm talking about not directions like driving yeah that's what Alyssa was talking about yeah yeah i'm bad with that i'll give you that one so sam all right i'll take that one it's my first one (laughs) Mm -hmm. who's the best chef I think Sam. I feel like you're chefly more often, though. Yeah, I would say like the the number of chef moments I have are greater. But I learned a lot about cooking because of you. So my parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's who we're deflecting this to. Yeah. I I mean I can make like a mean sauce. That's for sure. Yeah, your sauces and like dips and like oh, aiolis. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You don't like my sauces and dips? <sighs> I love your sauces and dips. I just think it's funny he that that's what you're talking of. Because sauces and dips are like the best part of any meal. Yeah, because like what if you just had like dry ass rice, chicken, hot sauce on top? I'm. Is there a cookbook specifically for sauces and dips? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sure. There's like four mother sauces. And it's in my fucking mind. <laughs> Next business venture. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm Sam the- Sauces and Dips. <laughs> 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 they can sell it at Sam's Club. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Clever. Perfect. Thanks. I think they did shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Who's a uh, pickier eater? I think. Oh, that's so hard because you have more. Like, Res- but I, I wouldn't call restrictions picky because that's like a. Cho- it's not that I don't like meat. I just don't eat it. Yeah. I would say that you're more like particular about. Well, but it's because you're eating meat. Because if I was eating meat, I'd be... No, I'm pretty fucking particular. You... I would say so, yeah. I would say probably like what I like. Yeah. Yeah, well, even like when I... When we were growing up, (laughs) there was iced tea in my house always. And my mom wanted us to stop using the purified (sighs) water for juices. my existence. (laughs) For juices and iced teas. And I told Sam that. And she's like, well, I don't want it then. Like, she didn't want iced tea unless it was with the purified water. (laughs) And I stand by that. But the water... Was a automatic one that you used to tap water and then it filtrates it? No, our ours we had to purchase it. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Then I can understand her, her yeah. logic. Yeah, she also used to keep tea bags on the counter. Um, but I'm like really particular about like cutting things super small and like mm-hmm. when I was eating meat, like all the fat, all the veins, all like everything, like it had to be like pure. Which I know you're weird about that too, yeah. but like. Yeah, I just... Ooh. If I'm out, though, like, I'll basically eat anything. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of fish, but, like, I ate some shit in Denmark, okay? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Was it gross? Um, I mean, like, all of the meals were, like, so beautifully prepared. I just, like, I'm not a huge fan of fish. And the amount is grandiose. Like, their, their traditional, like, Danish meals there's so many courses and it's like so dense like there's a lot of cheese one time when i was there i thought that this um spread was cream cheese but it was butter and so i slathered it on as if it was cream cheese they didn't even my relatives (laughs) didn't even like bat an eyelash which is also more concerning but i slathered it on as if it was cream cheese and i took a bite and it was fucking butter (laughs) i wouldn't be upset about that i was watching a like a cooking video the other day like you know those like quick like buzzfeed ones Mm -hmm. it was kind of like that from a different company but um they put they were making this like seafood pot roast kind of thing with like corn and shrimp and all this shit they put seven sticks of butter it was just like butter soup was it paella gross no no it was literally just like corn on the cob like this big and and shrimp and potatoes and stuff like that oh crazy yeah it was Anyway, I ate flounder with a lot of fat on it. Mine was just like 
and the skin was on it but then i don't know i just got a really fatty piece and it was just like um like jelly in my mouth i don't like how they cook Ooh. the fish whole and they serve it to you like that i didn't actually get that in denmark so how did you get it with the outside still on it well because it's like a fillet yeah it was a fillet with the skin, the skin? on the other side yeah oh, just I, like when you yeah, buy but salmon you can, salmon doesn't have the skin on the outside when you cook it you can well, i've never had that mm. Yeah, and then you cook it, and then you flip it, and then you can peel the skin off. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh. That's gross. I'm not a huge fish guy either. Thanks for asking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who handles the groceries? Both. Both. That's yeah. an easy one. Except when Sam's in quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> then I handle the groceries. I go grocery shopping more often. Yeah. But I also eat a lot more. You cook a lot more. Yeah, but I'd say I eat a lot more right now. <laughs> yeah right now for sure yeah <laughs> i'm eating like 2200 calories a day you're gonna love this next one. Oh no who's a better tipper sam yeah really well be- I, it's hard to say i don't know like i always tip 20 percent. yeah not that this is a bad tipper no at all but it's like some like sam will tip for like the weirdest shit like sam used to tip at subway they're making minimum wage. like in high school yeah which is like really kind i didn't i didn't feel i had the money to tip for five dollars <laughs> for a subway sandwich if i got that money i'm tipping yeah for sure in a big way oh but, i thought uh, you were going to be the better tipper because you worked in the service industry for so long yeah when when i was in the service industry and i was drinking and stuff like that for sure i would be a better tipper because i would tip five dollars on a five dollar cocktail mm-hmm. but i would say now i'm just like across the board 20 percent Whereas I feel like Sam might be more likely if the meal was like $35 to leave like a 50 and walk away or something like that. Um, And I think too, like, just because like I, I don't drink, Mm -hmm. I don't like, so it's, it's like my money's going towards food predominantly. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why like tipping's never bothered me. Yeah. Tipping doesn't bother me at all, but I'm always like credit now anyway. So I just hit 20% and move on. Yeah. 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 Who's more likely to steal all the covers on a cold night? me oh really i was gonna say me do you think so well i'm trying to think of complaints from our sleepovers and i thought me stealing the covers was a complaint but you like well you sleeping across like the top (laughs) of the pillows was a complaint (laughs) i still stand by that it was my bed it was my my house i wanted to literally like you know how kuma will come and like sit at the top of my that's how Alyssa was sleeping the one night it's just interesting that you allow kuma to do that but not me we don't let her stay She's a dog. Long. I can't reason with her. <laughs> <laughs> this was 10 years ago. Kind of seems like you can't reason with you me You are either. a regular, Ten regular years human ago. woman. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been a while since we've had a sleepover. No? I slept downstairs. I slept downstairs down with Grunt. Yeah, she was down there one time. One time. Oh my God, that was horrifying. <laughs> but to answer the question, I think you would be more likely because you like the room super cold already. Because I like to have my heating pad on. Because my back's in perpetual pain. So in this instance, you have a heating pad. So then you're going to steal the covers more because it's cold in the room. (laughs) Yeah, I have been. Well, gosh, I just don't know. I think overall, I'm a more annoying sleeper. I'll just say. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. (laughs) Alyssa has a heating pad that's like (laughs) (laughs) non-regulation. She was like, I was saying, I was like, my heating pad never gets hot enough to like satiate because like I'll leave it on for hours, like at the hottest setting kind of thing because my back's always so painful. (laughs) And she was like, oh, I have a heating pad that's really hot. And I was like, honestly, like mine gets pretty hot. But like, and she was like, no, no, you should try it on the lowest setting. It was like, literally my skin was about to burn. (laughs) Like I was like, this is not there's Some no way market. yeah like this, this is this was like okay in the 80s and then they definitely made this like illegal <laughs> i'm pretty sure it was from the 70s because my grandma gave it to me you're gonna like blow a circuit using <laughs> yeah. so i was wondering why i freaking hydro bill so high <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was my car but it was your <laughs> it's her Sovi- archaic sleeping her, her soviet era down. sleeping <laughs> <laughs> her eating pad <laughs> I've, I've since retired the heating pad because it did burn me one time dude that's so been fucking insane i've been scorned yeah. <laughs> um who snores louder Alyssa. oh me for sure hands down oh my goodness it's outrageous it is outrageous <laughs> <laughs> i have perpetual sinus issues it's yeah. my dad this was before i had sinus issues my dad used to say i suck the drapes off the window <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm not like a cute sleeper, okay? I sleep with my mouth wide open. Yeah, you do. I was literally, I can picture you sleeping and you're like. (laughs) 
like like nobody nobody that's dated me has like watched me sleep in a cute way you know what i mean sleeping angel no i drool if i'm on my side uh i snore really loud i sweat like it's, but it's like the it's snoring not- is like it it's as if you're dying like <laughs> like gasping for air kind of thing i did get tested for sleep apnea and i have low low grade low grade yeah where they like it's not worthwhile to treat it in any way like a sleep mask thing yeah i can't remember what those are called but yeah but yeah i do snore very loud definitely Alyssa. yeah but it's the worst is when i'm on my back and i have both my arms up (laughs) is that when you snore the loudest that's when i snore the loudest you take one down it's less you take another one down it's less on my side i don't snore basically at all matt goes like this And it's like, oh, like, I don't know. It, like, literally, like, summons me from my (laughs) sleep because it's just, like, the weirdest noise. It's, like, not super loud. It's just so odd. I got dry mouth. (laughs) He's got them, like, midnight pasties. That's why I couldn't wear my retainer because my mouth got so dry. Oh, really? Yeah. It it ruined me. Jeff does that, too, but only, like, four or five times. We could be like... (laughs) And it's just quiet. (laughs) This uh, isn't about me. <laughs> oh, now you don't want the spotlight. Uh, who wakes up first? Sam. Me. Yeah. Usually. Although Alyssa's been waking up pretty early lately. Did I get up before you this morning? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. We had a rough sleep last night. Oh, how come? I don't know. I mean, I was dreaming that I was at a loft convention. Okay. It's just been, I don't know. We haven't Weird. been having very good, very good sleeps lately. Yeah. Who stays up the late? Whom stays up the latest? I mean, it's weird because Sam also stays up late. Yeah. But I go to bed early, but I stay up fairly late. Yeah. I would say like more often than not, though, I would be up past Sam. Probably. Yeah. Because like I sometimes don't go to bed until like one or two. Well, and you're because you're more pro- productive at night as well. Yeah. So. I get I get the majority of my energy at like five to six p.m. <laughs> yeah. Anytime before that, I'm like basically a zombie. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. So Alyssa. Who's the better shower singer? Oh, me. Because I do it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard Sam sing. I don't sing around people, that's for sure. I know. I haven't been even, blessed. Even in the car when I'm like yell screaming, Sam's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Alyssa definitely goes for it, that's for sure. Yeah, I go ham. One time um, I was singing in the shower and Jeff came home and I didn't know. And then I came out and he's like, I mean, Sam and her mom are on the deck and we all just like looked at each other. <laughs> they could hear me from upstairs. I was like, listen, OK, I'm Mariah Carey. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. <laughs> we'll give that one to Alyssa. Who spends more time staring at their phone? Alyssa. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Without a doubt. I'm like constantly on my phone unless Sam needs me in that moment, in which case I'm for some reason not on my phone. Yeah, I feel like people would assume that it's me. Yeah, it's not at all. You're rarely on your phone. It takes like, if I text you, like between 20 and 30 minutes before I get a text back because you're just like not on it. Yeah. Sort of thing. But I'm like, I'm constantly on it. And her, and her phone is on silent without vibrate. So if you call her, it's just pointless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which also makes it like exceedingly difficult to find my phone. Yeah. <laughs> No yes. kidding, but my phone is always next to me. Yeah, I'm never on it, basically. But yeah. to find my phone app... Um, it's not that precise. <clears throat> yeah, but it's still... You can make it make a noise. Remember when you lo- left yours in the cab? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we left hers in the cab. But that's assuming it. that I know where my other phone is. You can make a ping. Yeah, you can make a ping. And then someone... someone it said on the phone to call a number, and then they called me. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It was awesome. It was and just... then the cab driver drove back to me with my phone. Aw. Yeah. That's we, a nice for a story. Price. We thought for oh. sure. Yeah. But whatever. We yeah. thought for sure it was gone. Because like at least Uber, you know who the guy was. And right. you could track it down. But with the cab. Wait, where was that? In London. And all the cabs are like privately owned. Oh. And we are like, oh, <laughs> okay, great. So we, there's like literally no chance of finding this person. Yeah. That was sick. Matt, you got a sick golf tan. I, know, eh? I just realized that <laughs> damn that's that's it's bad a shade change for sure <laughs> i know someone said in sam's video that i need to learn spf 
<laughs> Learn which, SPF. Which video was that? The Amazon one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe just wear a tank top. I don't know. You can't wear a tank top golfing. Tank top. You have to wear a collar shirt. You have to look professional. Tuck. You gotta wear a tucked collar shirt. Oh, I didn't realize there were rules to that, to appearance. Golf Gatekeeping so, golf. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Wow. Dress code. Mm -hmm, there is. Oh. It's, it's for classy people. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start playing golf just so that I can be like, and I'm not classy. <laughs> <laughs> Showing up in a ripped tank top. Yeah. In there, my boys. In my crop tops. Yeah. There's courses for you. That's okay. <laughs> it's called mini golf. <laughs> we have courses for people like you. <laughs> Elitist. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Matt's like, you can't golf with me. <laughs> um, who's more likely to start an argument? Oh, depends on the circumstance, I guess. It doesn't Wait, have to between be with each, each other. other? There's no specifics, but I would say just in general, and then I would say Alyssa. What? I don't agree. You're more confrontational than Sam. Sam will just be quiet. But it depends on the circumstance. Yeah. Like at the, if it's a restaurant related thing, you're all over it. If it's, yeah. I don't know, I've never seen But it's not an you. argument. I just am like, this is not done right. Yeah. Um, well, you can call it confrontation. Who's more, who's more likely to start a confrontation? How about a reword it? Well, a confrontation would be me, but I feel like argument would actually be Sam. I don't know. I would probably... It takes a lot to get me to the point where, like, I'm going to argue, but mm -hmm. I, I definitely don't, like, shy away at that point. Like, when it comes yeah. to my breaking point, it's freaking... It's over. Yeah, like, I... This is how I'll, like, make sense of what it is. I feel like I... I let people like wrong me a lot more sort of thing. So if people are going to wrong you, it's like you, you will let them know right away. Whereas I'm kind of like, what? I feel the like opposite. Really? Yeah, because I feel like if it's something um, like not something small necessarily, but I feel like you're more likely to like call it out in the moment kind of thing. Whereas mm -hmm. like I'll let quite a bit slide until mm. it gets to a point. Yeah, that's true. So, so <laughs> undecided. <laughs> uh i'll i'll say i'll say me yeah but for confrontation i would say me like i'm i'm more likely small to small confrontation yeah. Alyssa. actual long long form <laughs> argument yeah me yeah who's We're, more are we boring you <laughs> <laughs> i'm tired who's more likely to finish an argument like who's who's more I'm likely assuming to win win oh uh well, we don't argue with each other that much, but I feel like in like our relationships, both of us are more likely to win than our partners. But it's not about winning. It's about understanding each other. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? What do you think, babe? He's scared. I see, I see the fear in his eyes. Yeah, I don't ever win arguments. Yeah. So there's that answer. So me. <laughs> um... The, this is the thing is like I I say this is the thing so much uh if I'm wrong I'll admit it mm -hmm. and like if you prove that I'm wrong I'll be like ah, yeah you're right so right. it's just that like unfortunately I'm just not wrong that often <laughs> <laughs> but even at our wedding Sam's dad said that she was good at arguing when she was like a little kid yeah he couldn't he couldn't win arguing with her when she was a little kid so how do I stand a chance <laughs> <laughs> And it, that's a good point. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Who's more likely to max out their credit card? Alyssa. Oh, me for sure. Alyssa for, <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then who's more likely to save all their money? <laughs> <laughs> Neither, but I don't max out my credit card very often. No, mine's like... But, the, like, I do pay mine down, but then somehow... <laughs> back up it goes. <laughs> it just goes right back up. Um, I was better at saving money... Back before you moved in <laughs> yeah for sure yeah back in the day i feel like we don't um we're not very good uh influences influences on one another that's no. for sure but i i don't save my money it all goes towards other shit mm. yeah, I mean, but don't. not necessarily like dumb stuff now yeah no i feel like all of our money's in like businesses yeah yeah like 20 percent maybe is dumb shit but the rest of it's actually like gone, gone somewhere mm. that it shouldn't be. yeah uh, my Mine's dumb shit. I'm not saving. I'm reinvesting. <laughs> okay. Mine's dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
just so we're clear. <laughs> yeah. But I am on a no buy now and I'm saving because I want to save for the commune and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Did you find that you spent more money as soon as you moved downstairs or as soon as you moved in this upstairs here? As soon as, soon as I stepped foot on the property line. Yeah. I started that was spending it. more money. Okay, then. <laughs> Who's clumsier? Me. Alyssa. Yeah. yeah. I drop shit all the time. I drop my phone all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you're not clumsy at all. Yeah. Thank you. I'm looking at Sam for the audio listeners. (laughs) (laughs) Who's chattier? Alyssa. Uh, Yeah, me. Yeah, I agree. (laughs) Oh, Sam's going to love this question. What do you think it is? I don't know, but it feels like a diss already. (laughs) Who's funnier? Oh, 100% me. (laughs) Yeah, Sam's funnier. (laughs) No matter who I'm against. Sam's favorite question. I Because... Like, Sam is really, really funny. Thank you for being um, here to say that. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm, there's like, there's just no question. But um, Sam is there's funny. There's no question, she says. <laughs> that's I said that's be- between I you said two. I said between us. <laughs> but one time Sam did say that I'm funny just who I am. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Alyssa doesn't like have to like try to be funny, that's for sure. It's just, I'm just an embarrassing just, human. Just witnessing you <laughs> is enough. Just witnessing me live <laughs> is enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Um, who's messier? Mm. I don't know why I look at you every single time I ask a question. Sam? Yeah, I would, I would say you, but you do like things in their own place. I like to organize, but like I don't, I think you organize more often. Like yeah. And you clean more often, yeah. Yeah, like I, I cannot stand a messy kitchen um i like my bathroom to be clean all the time and like put away clothes and do laundry and shit i just go to another room yeah (laughs) and then when the cycle ends because there's no other room to go to then it's like okay well now i have to organize the whole house yeah so that's what happens matt's looking at me (laughs) shaday sam's car is cleaner than mine though (sighs) i've always had dirty cars that's because it's detailed he just got a detail. But even in general, though, I wouldn't say I have dirty cars. I I literally, anything I bring into my car, it stays in there, like clothes and like shoes and shit like that. I will say, usually when I'm driving my car, if I like have to like hit the brakes a little bit harder than normal, um, like a soda stream bottle flies out <laughs> from underneath my, your side of the, the car. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's not, not an uncommon experience. I'm not good with like taking things out of the car that I once to brought in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead and say what you need to say, Matt. <clears throat> well, I haven't been in her car, so I don't know. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about me not being clean. Because you were looking at me like this. <laughs> I was going to say once a month you, you have like a binge. A cleaning binge. Once a month. I would say once every three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I clean the bathrooms every Sunday. Oh, yeah. We don't have that kind of. Fuck that shit. And I, we clean the kitchen every day. But I would say my closet is like where the shit someone goes. cleans the kitchen most of the time. There's every now and then we'll leave it for a bit, but yeah, it's hard when you cook so much. It's like <laughs> all it's so annoying. Dude. Yeah, all, I feel like all I do is clean the kitchen. Honestly, that is literally adulthood in a fucking nutshell. Everyone that's like, I wish I was an adult. No, it's just cleaning the kitchen. Honestly, I find ways to not use the cutting board now because like <laughs> i'm just like, like holding everything and cutting it in your hand. i do or like i'll see if i can like use the actual tupperware lid as the cutting board. that's yeah. the easiest thing to clean though the cutting board no because you have to i have to hand wash it and i just like and so do i but you it. just Alyssa puts absolutely everything in the dishwasher though I she said that. that to me and then when i saw it happen i was like oh you actually put every oh, single thing in the everything dishwasher. well except for these two pans i have two pans that we hand wash but other than that everything goes in the dishwasher another reason our hydro bills to the roof <laughs> <laughs> actually this is just matt conducting uh, <laughs> okay listen investigative you guys, you guys have a hot tub and a tesla so <laughs> you use the I, hot tub so yeah don't i would even, go as far i know as say we have a hot i know tub. and I, I love the hot tub. yeah don't even play that card <laughs> you guys have a hot tub <laughs> parsons aquatics is my favorite <laughs> okay um, um, I like that. But, but um, using hand washing uses more water than dishwashers do. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by that. It does. Yeah. I read the, the stats. <laughs> Matt can't argue with that. And I don't she take baths. getting ready for you to call her out on that. Yeah. And I don't take baths anymore because of the hot tub. So I don't know. Um, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I find it. Uh, 
I find it's a lot easier to cook when some like especially for cooking together. Um, where I'll start cleaning up after her, so or vice versa. So yeah. then when you're ready to eat, it's like there's literally nothing left to clean up. Yeah, I, I try to like put things away as I go and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, it makes it so much easier. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not so daunting like when you're full of food and you walk back in the kitchen like oh my god. Yeah, I clean as I go for sure. Yeah, so much easier. Mm-hmm. Who's more dramatic? Me. Alyssa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you worried I was going to be upset about that or something? No, I was trying to think because <laughs> Matt calls me dramatic, but. Oh, no, I'm so dramatic. Yeah, I think Alyssa. I don't yeah. call you dramatic very often. <laughs> and, but, it, but it hurts when it and does. She when calls you, me, but it stings. She calls me dramatic you more than. You are a, dramatic, babe. <laughs> oh, my God, you are so dramatic. I have a flair for the drama, but you I'm do not have dramatic. A flair for the dra- <laughs> oh, my God, yes, you do. I feel like Sam is like more um, like wry. Is that the right word? Like the dry humor? Maybe. I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah. Like not, I'm, I don't know if rye is offensive like to you. <laughs> that's not how I mean it. But I feel like uh, if something I'm like, oh my God. And you're like, relax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just like to blow things out of proportion just because I find it funny. I feel like in order, least dramatic to most dramatic, me, Matt, Alyssa. <laughs> Who's more stubborn? Alyssa. Yeah. Mm, yeah it's it's different because i feel like it's different though like i am stubborn for sure on the things that i'm like a hundred percent like not moving on but um i'm trying to think because i would say you're stubborn but i'm non-compliant okay yeah that's a good way to put it <laughs> okay it's a good way to put it yeah <laughs> uh. <laughs> Who's more organized? Isn't that kind of the same as what we talked about earlier? Let's skip it then. Okay. Who's more athletic? Alyssa. Yeah, me. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need you to pipe in at the end. Though, I right? saw you throw. Uh, what the hell did you throw in the backyard? Okay, I'm not very good at throwing things. <laughs> but I, in my defense, okay, when the dogs are like bringing me their like oddly shaped toys and it's, it's like drenched in slobber it's kind of hard to get like a solid throw out of it's it it's the first time i've ever seen anything take a 90 degree turn with a <laughs> forward motion <laughs> uh who's more of a thrill seeker neither you have to pick one. Uh, matt yeah <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks I think back in the day, I was definitely more of a thrill seeker, but now I'm like just happy <clears throat> as is. Yeah. I don't know. I'm fine to be um, sitting. I would say like if we were traveling, like I would want to like say money isn't an object. I would want to like rent ATVs, rent CDs, like go on the zip lining, that kind of thing. I'm definitely not against that stuff at all. Yeah. Like I'll, I will do that stuff, but like maybe not. But you're not seeking it. I'm not like... She's seeking the thrill. Yeah. You're, you're no, just participating yeah, yeah. in the thrill. I'm participating. Yeah, okay. Participation, Ruben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this kind of... Th- who's more adventurous? Same thing. Yeah, Alyssa. Yeah. I would say me just because, like, the ar- it's a wide array of things. Mm. Whereas, like, I think that you're more adventurous in, like, business and that mm. kind of stuff. All right. Who's better at keeping secrets? Alyssa, a hundred percent. Oh my god, a hundred percent, Alyssa. <laughs> Thank you. Who, who would last longer on a deserted island? Oh yeah, we didn't we have this argument once before, all three of us. Yeah, because we're watching alone. Yeah. Side sidebar: If you guys want to watch a good show, kind of related to that question, there's a show called Alone on History Channel. Yeah, it's awesome. Sponsored by Matt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I would last longer than Matt, but would I last longer than Alyssa? I don't know. Now let's. Who would last longer on a deserted island with no button to leave? You think you would last longer than me when I have no option to leave? If I had the option to leave, yeah, you would last longer than me because I get the fuck out of there. But if I had to stay there, you think you would last longer than me? Yeah. I'm a hunter-gatherer. I'm a hunter-gatherer. I'm, I'm, I'm a double trouble. <laughs> In what ways are you a hunter or a gatherer? I could hunt and gather. I know how to fish. I know how to fish. <laughs> I actually know how to fish as well i know and, how to fish too i was fishing since i was like four and i know how to gather gather what <laughs> bullshit <laughs> fruits veggies fruits <laughs> fruits 
It's Fritz? so funny because I distinctly remember you saying to me that you didn't want to be a farmer. So that makes Fritz. me believe that you're not as good at hunting and gathering yes, as you thought. But this is under I have to. This is under I have to. Okay, <laughs> between you and I, Alyssa, who do you think? Well, I don't know anything about plants. That's the only reason that I think I could maybe do okay. Yeah, like I think that the physical labor of like creating like the lean to or like a shack or something. See, I don't know though. I feel like I could create a good yurt. <laughs> yurt community <laughs> question mark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, but I, I think I could be pretty fucking creative. Like when I was a kid, I was definitely out there playing in the worms, making fucking mud cakes. Yeah, so was I. I think most of us were as kids. Yeah. But um, I think I would, if I, if there was a button, I would tap out first because I would get scared. Yeah. Like as soon as it started to get dark, I would press that, that <laughs> but, fucking button. But also I feel like Sam can just sit there and be still, so conserve calories. And I feel like <laughs> you can't sit still. No. So yeah. what we're learning from this is that everyone thinks I'm the laziest. <laughs> that was a compliment. I, yeah, you would. I Sam's think, really good at conserving calories. <laughs> I think you're just love that about you, babe. <laughs> content, you're content, just being. I'm. I'm pretty good. Yeah, like I'm pretty good. Like being on my own, mm-hmm. like just alone to my thoughts and my own devices. I would get lonely. I would start snuggling anything. But I'm also, like, not particularly scared of wildlife, which I think would yeah, be to scared. my advantage. If I'm going to go, let it be by a bear. Go ahead. Oh, maybe not. Um, I, would be fine. I would be fine if nature was taking me back. Okay. Yeah. Who's more outgoing? Alyssa. Know. For Thanks. sure. Yeah. Okay. Who's handier? Alyssa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I would, I would agree so. with that, too. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> You gonna take my side on any of this? <laughs> Lots of it. I yeah, have. yeah, yeah. Who's more likely to cry during a sad movie? Okay. I've never seen you cry during a sad movie, so the only Me? yeah. Or, no, I never cry during. It's we. It's wild because I don't cry during movies. The only movies that I cry during are um, animated ones. You're such a like dichotomy because like on <laughs> one hand it's like you're always like I don't think we've recorded a single podcast where I'm not like are your eyes watering? <laughs> yeah. Um, You'll cry over like the weirdest shit. Like when I turned around and you were crying while Arrow was licking you. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> she, she was, tears were streaming down her face. Why? I was like, Are you crying? And she was like, <laughs> Because she was loving me. Like I could tell that like her heart was like into my heart. <laughs> like she loved her auntie. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like in situations where one would expect you to be emotional, you're not. Yeah, I would agree. The notebook, every time I cry. Mm-mm. Every time, twice. No. Never. Every time, twice a time. You crying right now? Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Remembering that memory. No, um, <laughs> Matt cried in me before you. <laughs> he, he had just recently moved in, and we were watching me before you, which is like it's like a sad kind of like love story. Um, but he was watching it, and then he started smiling, and then he like turned over, and I just saw his shoulders shaking. <laughs> <laughs> she loves that story <laughs> you were trying to hide it always i i probably will cry at every single movie i watch it's a little bit sad but i look away from the screen and think about something else so she no one sees me crying about yeah it. you've cried in a lot of, so matt is the most likely yeah. to cry <laughs> hilariously yeah. the only movies i've cried during are herbie and um wally oh really okay yeah. so Alyssa cries during non-events yeah. Matt cries during movies. I cry in appropriate situations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Who's more likely to scream at the sight of a spider? Oh, both of us. I feel like Alyssa's more likely to scream. I'm more yeah. likely to like be like, bye. Yeah, I would scream for sure. I do scream yeah. every time. Yeah. But you got to go. Ugh. Yeah. 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 You have like a little quiver. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm a quiver. quiver. <laughs> Who's more likely to a rave? Uh, a rave? <laughs> Me. Who's more likely to a rave? <laughs> Go. <laughs> Who's more likely to arrive late to an appointment? Neither. Yeah, I'm pretty punctual. I'm really punctual too because my dad was like a freaking maniac about it. Yeah, yeah, I hate being late too. Um, Who's needier when they're sick? I don't really like people around me when I'm sick. Yeah. I like to be alone. I don't feel like I'm like particularly needy when I'm sick either. No. What I'm you- I'm just like 
whiny, but I'm not needy. Very whiny. Yeah. <laughs> I got man flu or whatever it's called. Yeah. Who's the best gift giver? Alyssa. Oh. <laughs> You're just so sentimental. Yeah. She's very <laughs> sentimental. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm going to give a gift, it's usually like a, it has a meaning behind it. Mm-hmm. Instead of like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you're a more thoughtful gift giver for sure. I don't think I've ever received a gift from you. I'm pretty. I got you two cards on your birthday. Cards. What do I get you, Matt? Come on, yes. come on, man. We didn't Literally, have any. What do you get the man that has everything? Well, and like we didn't have any inside jokes yet. You know what I mean? I did think about getting you twenty sponges but after then, the okay, sponge but- debacle, but they're twenty dollars each. That's a lot of money. But then are you gonna like? But now that you say you don't have any inside jokes before. Now are you like walking yourself into a corner where you think that now he's going to be expecting big things? Because, oh, because he thinks that now we have inside jokes other for now. longer. Yeah. If, well, this is the thing is like if we had inside stuff, then yeah, of course I would. Have yeah. I given you a gift before? Yeah, you got me a gift uh, for... Podcast. You got a card for us. Yeah. No, I got your yeah, treats. And treats. Mm, yeah. But you got me, I think it might have been for Christmas. Now I don't remember. Soda stream shit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, cool. that was thoughtful. Um, so I'm the best gift giver. <laughs> You're a pretty good gift giver, yeah. I think I'll give so you too. That. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm good at giving gifts to people that. It's just like it's it's hard. Like there's some people that like they are the people that are not likely to buy things for themselves. Mm. I'm good at giving gifts to you for sure. But there's a lot of people that like they just what they want they just get it kind of thing. Mm-hmm. People aren't as like um, conservative with their money these days. Yeah, but my parents are really easy to buy gifts for for me. Because they are, will not spend money on themselves. Or who has a bigger wardrobe? Alyssa. Oh, me. For sure. Because she will not get rid of clothes. Like, yeah. I, I pretty frequently declutter, like, my closet and, like, donate clothes or whatever. Yeah. And oftentimes I'll go through the donated clothes and take, like, a third of them. And then save them forever because then they then have sentimental value because I gave them to her. Exactly. Yeah. And that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely, Alyssa. Yeah, no, my closet is huge. Yeah. Who has the best style? Sam, I would say. We. I feel like we have the same style. I know, but I took your style, basically. You guys are literally that's wearing good. blue I jeans know. and a white top together. Yeah. The thing is, I change my style, like, like every year or so, I feel, because there was, like, the dressed up, Alyssa and then there was like sporty Alyssa and like whatever Alyssa so uh I would say that you have the best style because mine just changes all the time but like you've like stuck stuck with yours yeah but regardless I feel like I would argue that we regard like regardless of who between us has the better style I would say that both of us don't have like the most immaculate style no (laughs) we wear a lot of like comfort clothes yeah but I think when you get dressed up, you can pick some pretty cool yeah, back, ensembles. Yeah, back in, like, if you scroll back in your Instagram, you have so many cute outfits. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Who takes the longest to get ready? Alyssa. It depends on how ready we're getting. Yeah. If we're getting ready, ready, I feel like I can get ready pretty quickly, but I feel like Alyssa maybe takes longer to, like, get going. For sure. Like, if you're just, That's like, said that, yeah. getting ready kind of thing, but, like, Alyssa's, like you know having our coffee mm-hmm. like i can't just get up and leave the house i need two hours yeah i can get up and be like yep because no. i feel like i've waited for you a couple times already so that's why i said you mm. yeah one well, especially like when we get out the door i always have to pee first mm. so it's like okay i'm ready and then i'm like oh wait i have to pee oh wait i have to like feed grunt oh wait i have to yeah <laughs> grab my water bottle <laughs> i definitely take longer to get out of the house yeah to get out the door Who's more likely to lose their keys slash wallet? Alyssa. Yeah. <laughs> I leave shit behind all the time. <laughs> yeah. And I've lost my wallet twice. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. But it made its way back to me. <clears throat> yeah. The only thing I've ever seen you lose was the phone in London. But Which I you... got back. Yeah. But that was like. And the one time I got my phone stolen, I got it back to you. And then the one time I left my phone on a bus <clears throat> and the bus driver drove to me. To bring me so my phone. you are likely to lose shit. You're just lucky to get no, back. Those were like four years apart. <laughs> all of those incidents. Mm. Okay. So I'd say that's pretty infrequent. Yeah, and no, I lose stuff. All well, the obviously time. you're the worst one. It sounds like so. <laughs> I am the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I lose sweaters and jackets a lot too. So many yeah. a sweater. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I lose clothes. I've been losing clothes recently that I have no clue how they left. Okay, same downstairs. Do we have like a clothing thief? amongst us maybe 
Two hats. Someone breaks in and just takes a few pieces of clothing <laughs> yeah. at a time. Yes. They're building a... A wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a mannequin out of us. Yeah. Um, who does the dishes more? Alyssa. Me, yeah. Who does the laundry more? Alyssa. Me. <laughs> who's, a Matt. Be- who's a better... Da- thank you. Who's a better dancer? Alyssa? Yeah, but I would say like... If we were like in a club, I think you'd be a better dancer. But I feel like I took actual dance for longer. I, yeah, you did take. Yeah, I've never sure. seen you dance or sing before. Because we've never been to life. a club together. Mm. Neither of Sam. And it's I, a pretty yes. rare occasion. But. Oh no, we went to a dance. We, we went to a club one time. Yeah, yeah. We did. No, no Sam and I. Yes, did. Matt and Alyssa went to a club. <laughs> no, I thought you went, like I was there with you too. No, 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 I've never been to a club with you. But even on our wedding, we didn't dance. <laughs> no, we ate s'mores. I hate dancing though, so that worked for me. Yeah. Perfect. Who's the bigger party animal? Speaking um, of all this, used to be Alyssa. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would actually still say I'm the bigger party animal, even though I don't drink. Yeah. Like I'm happy to go to a party. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. I'm happy to go to a party and leave. <clears throat> yeah, I like to hang out. Who's more likely to uh, swim with a shark? We both have. Yeah, we both have. But I think mine were less dangerous than yours. You were swimming with... When did you swim with a shark? Me? Yeah. In Bora Bora. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Great White in the cage. Oh, I would. I don't like sharks. I think... Why? I told you this lots of times. That's why I don't like being in the ocean. I think I would do it. If you did it, I would just do it to face my fears. But I really don't like... And I know sharks are... I love aquatic animals. I know sharks aren't dangerous. Well, they a little bit, but I know really they're just They're like, misunderstood. Yeah, yeah, totally. And they're just Deeply being butchered for no reason and all that stuff. Just so like I don't, Kuma was understood for the longest time. I don't want to like add to the thing about sharks. Stigma. Yeah. Because I do think that they're We're just, trying to break down stigmas here. Yeah. Today. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just an irrational fear I have. Okay, here's a question. Who's got more rational fears? Me. Alyssa. Yeah, I knew that answer too. <laughs> You're setting me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I have are irrational fears. <laughs> yeah. Go on. No. Don't tell everyone your irrational fears. <laughs> he really wants you to hash out your trauma. <laughs> no. Because part of my irrational fear is speaking about my irrational fears and then them coming true because I've spoken about them. Yeah. So they stand or raps. Who's yeah. more likely to do public speaking? Sam. Me. Yeah. Yeah. I think I would have a panic attack. If I yeah. tried. I feel like I've probably had to do more public speaking. Yeah. yeah. Like watching you do that thing in Sephora that one time, I was like, I was like getting stressed on your behalf. I was pretty nervous. Well, was I? I don't think you were nervous that one. You were chilling. What's yeah. the most nervous event you've been to? <laughs> the most nervous event. I don't know. How to um, the it. most nervous I've been at an event. Yes. Um, <laughs> let me think. Who's most likely to correct my grammar? me um <laughs> just because you have more opportunities <laughs> i don't right i don't know i don't think that i can recall like a specific time where i've been really nervous and usually if i am nervous it's like as soon as i'm up there and i like say the first thing i'm like fine have you done any public speaking at all like can you think of a time even in high school where you had to like stand in front of a class oh or yeah i didn't get anxiety until uh college so i like i always did public speaking and like stand-up comedy and stuff like that in high school you did stand up. Mm-hmm. Stand up, and it was actually stand up was really nerve wracking for me. Yeah, that'd be so hard. Oh, mine wasn't, and actually, like, I'm pretty proud of my my stand up. It yeah. was good. I don't like that's the one thing. Like, I think I would have a hard time doing stand up comedy. Improv, I think, would be fine. Mm. Stand up comedy is like harder because, like, I don't like having like scripted things, being like, hopefully this is funny. Like, I like to like on the spot be. Yeah. You know. Did they make you do that in school? Yeah. Yep. Oh, cool. We had to write our own stand-up and then perform. Yeah, and I missed Sam's, so I've never seen it. Oh, did you? Yeah, I had like an orthodontist appointment or something. It's my little Sarah Palin bit. <laughs> yeah. You went political at age 16? Yeah, yeah. She was really on one with Sarah Palin back in the day. <laughs> oh, she just made me fucking laugh. The one time she was doing a, um, like a news thing, and there was a turkey being <laughs> slaughtered behind her. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, uh, yeah me yeah <laughs> sam nowadays that's it that's, that's all she wrote that's all she wrote that would have been a long fucking wedding game <laughs> no <laughs> yeah it's a little I'm, more rapid fire you don't do yeah yeah, yeah you don't have to explain yourself yeah. Like this. yeah but 
Well, thank you so much, Matt, for your services. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.